AJ, let's run through this real quick, and I can't okay. wait to hear your thoughts. Russell Wilson traded to the Denver Broncos. Devontae Adams traded to the Las Vegas Raiders. Deshaun Watson traded to the Cleveland Braz. Matt Ryan traded to the Indianapolis Colts. Now, Tyreek Hill traded to the Miami Dolphins. This is fucking banana land. You hear? Hey, these are big name players just on the move. They got contracts left. They're saying, get me out of here. I want to go somewhere else. This has been an insane offseason, AJ Hawk. It's been crazy. It's awesome. It's fun to be a part of it. It's fun to be here every day and get a, get a chance to actually like try to analyze why it's happening. Also, what do people that are just casual fans that maybe don't watch a whole lot of offseason stuff, but they, they tune in and watch their favorite teams play during the regular season. I think there's a lot of people like that that may be a bit surprised when they turn around and you look, hey, my, our best player isn't here anymore. Or maybe, hey, we just picked up a guy that's a stud. I know from talking to people out like at kids' practices, they ask me about, oh, what do you think of Deshaun Watson or whatever? And then when you mention all the other stuff that's happened, they're like, wait, what? Wait, huh? Like they have no clue all the different things happening today is just another day of that. Well, because people kind of live in their silos is what you're saying. I think they only pay attention to what uh, is happening around them. The Russell Wilson domino to Denver, we thought that was – Holy shit. That yeah. happened on the same day where Aaron, by the way, uh, decided to go back to the Green Bay Packers. We're like, wow, this is the biggest day yeah. this offseason. Like, this is huge. Like, this mm -hmm. is a big day. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 $230 million guaranteed going to Cleveland. Who knows how that worked? Matt Ryan's now quarterback somewhere else. I mean, it's just, it's a nonstop. Devontae Adams says goodbye to the Packers. It's a nonstop. Just, it's insane right now. And this is the, um, you know, it's kind of been like this in the NBA, I think. And it was mentioned earlier by one of the boys when we were sitting around the kitchen uh, chatting about all this. Do you remember when the NBA denied Chris Paul's trade request from like New Orleans to LA or whatever? They're like, nah, you can't do that. I still don't know how that happens, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they can. How can they deny it? They say like you're going to create a monopoly. Is that no. like they're trying to step in? Yeah, but then it became like trade city teams, super team build thing. Right. Is that all commissioner? Does the commissioner have all that power to stop a trade? Yeah, David Stern. I, I guess at the time that that's what we're saying about Goodell though. What if Goodell, after all this <laughs> shit started happening, because you know the owners going to be like, players are getting too much control. Yeah. Players, players are doing everything. Which, by the way, owners do not want ever. Owners do not want any of that ever. That's why the negotiation is always uh, always the way it is. That's why the way you hear some media people talk about players because they potentially have ends with the ownership and with the leagues. It's always a power struggle between, you know, who's in charge of what. And those who have the money always hope to be in charge of what they're running, even though it takes the players to make your product worth a fuck at all. But they, they always said, don't want this to be like the NBA. Don't want players to be on the move. You know, that's what it is about the NFL. You fall in love with the team and this and that whole thing. And those people are probably rolling over in their old ass beds with their their depends on saying god damn the nfl is starting to become what everything else is becoming which is if somebody isn't happy they're going to make a change now that's the world almost i think aj yeah i mean it's almost like it, is this like college football at the same time with the transfer portal oh a guy comes into town he's there six months he realizes i'm probably not going to start anytime soon see you later i'm going somewhere else are we looking at a similar thing so the interesting thing about the transfer portal and we've talked about this i feel like responsibly because i feel like People should talk about it responsibly, especially if there's maybe some college football players that are watching. There's like 2,000 people in the transfer portal. There's 130 schools. Okay, so some people, and I think the option just to pick up your shit and leave is not one that should be completely forgotten about. And I will say every single person that I graduated with at West Virginia, at one point or another in the first two years of being there, if they had the ability to get up and fucking leave like that, we would have. I mean, there was numerous breakfasts that we were all eating at. Like, fuck this shit. We ain't doing this. Let's get out of here. What, it's almost, and I feel like it's probably the same way for you too, right? I mean, I know, I know many guys that I played with that graduated and had great careers that at one point were thinking about leaving. Yes. Yes. College football is difficult. It is very hard, especially when it becomes your entire life. At high school, you're a football player. Okay, you train, you have fun, you have your trainer, you have your leagues, you have your seven on seven. And once you get to college, it's like you are now a college football player that has to appear at classes. You have workouts at this time. You have to do this at this time. You have uh, practice this time. You have study sessions this time. And we're going to check at all these things to make sure you're there. You become like a almost 
I mean, you're tracked your entire you're life. Pro- you're, you're programmed. They, they exactly. program you once you get on campus. Exactly. You become a programmed individual where every moment of your life is basically tracked and understood. And it becomes very difficult, especially when the workouts are the hardest workouts you have ever fucking done in your life. Like, th- there's no reason my body should be able to do what we're doing. I guess this is a mental thing you're building up. There's a lot of moments of quit is what I'm saying in college football, I think. So the transfer portal being as easy as it is, I, I don't want to sound like an old person yelling at the clouds. But honestly, there's some moments you have to fucking get through, I think, in life. And the transfer portal might be too easy of an out for some people. And I think they're going to miss out on some life lessons and some things that could potentially change them forever in a good way. Now, not to get too grandstandy here, that kind of we're seeing that with like Baker, right? Yeah. You can be who you can afford to be. You go in that transfer portal, you're a fucking guy, you're going to get signed. If you're, you got to know who you are, though. Like Baker saying, I want to be traded. It's like, the internet is all full of anonymous sources. A lot of anonymous sources are like, cool. Where? Yeah. <laughs> not coming. Like, we are not interested. You have to be, you have to be absolutely 100% sure that you have other options. If you demand a trade or you want something like that. And yeah, there's other options. I just question is what are people willing to give up to try to get you in the, the now, like as, as every day goes, there's less and less opportunities of teams he can go to and be the starter. Well, and that's the thing about the transfer portal, too. Like, I think you, sh- you have to know who the fuck you are before you sign up to go oh, in Oh, yeah. Hopefully, like, if you do go in the transfer portal, it's been something you've been thinking about for a while. You've talked over it with your coaches, your parents, whoever, uh, whoever you trust, and you don't just all of a sudden one day just throw your name in there because you're mad. 